sleeps deep underground while consuming the energy of this planet. If the nano machine is brought closer to him, he may awaken. We must hurry before it's too late. Elder, Shala is here. What? Shala's here? Hmm. Miss Shala, why have you come to such a merciful place? Stop degrading yourselves. We enlightened ones were once the same as you. The only difference is that we are under Lavos' control. This, listen, you little shit. It says, what a filthy hovel. Melchior, after the mountain of woe fell, I thought I would find you here. Is it safe for you to leave the palace? That no longer matters. The ocean palace is now operational. Then all is lost. But without me, the mammon machine won't work. I have turned my back on that evil device. I have kept the skyway open. Hurry! You must stop my mother! Why don't we keep it right there? Dalton! It's my dear. Your presence is required elsewhere. Dalton, leave her alone! Ah, the geezer speaks. Silence, old man! Whoa, chill. You'll come to the ocean palace with me. Do anything funny and shall it's dust. Got it? Shala! Oh my god, this guy is a jerk. Queen's children all seem to have a problem with authority, don't they? Stay back. The life of this woman means nothing to me. Shall we get going, Shala dear? Your mother waits. Oh boy. Melchior. I'm alright, but we must save Shala or else. Impossible, even though it's coming from you, Melchior. If the Queen is allowed to fulfill her scheme, all life as we know it is doomed. Now let me take care of that. You're willing to challenge the Queen? Uh-huh. You've done so much for us, and I don't even know your names. You'll find out soon enough. What are you talking about? Come on, Chrono. Wait, take this with you. It's made from the same redstone as the Mammon machine. With it, you can destroy the machine. Ah, oh, ruby knife. Ah, uh, wait. Can I use it? No. Can anybody use it? Looks like nope. Alright, so ruby knife. Um Dismiss Shala Halai. He said something about keeping the skyway open, so let's let's try that. Have I said how much I love that song?
Oh shit. Sorry, sorry folks. Yeah, 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 I'm coming. What lies beyond? Let's see. The queen took Shella with her to the ocean palace. We enlightened ones will finally attain immortality. The ocean palace is complete. The will rule forever. Ooh. Why is the prophet allowed inside while I'm stuck with car duty? There you are. I'll let the prophet go. Now we hit mess up sooner or later. But I have no use for you anymore. Your history. <clears throat> Let's see. Ooh. Uh huh. That's good damage. Okay, I'm not gonna. He says that uh, I should try and attack, but I am not going to because he'll, he'll probably just counteract. So. Well, I see, that's how you're counteracting. Okay, got it. And then hitting me. It's cool. going to be immortal. I can't be beaten now. Oh, wait a minute. That looks like a time portal. But isn't. Chrono Trigger, I need you to be consistent, please. Hmm. Dungeon time. I don't remember this very well, but I think it's very, very annoying. Lavos beckons. Ooh. Moon, the black energy grows. Something scary is waking up. Oh. 
shall raise the power of the mammon machine to its limit. I don't want to. Shut up! You dare to disobey me? All right, mother. Oh, what bright splendor! The incredible power of flowers! Uh, Guys, while we have these battles in the background, I wanted to talk to you about uh, Chrono, the protagonist, which is... Um, I don't know if you've seen, but for example, Link from the Zelda games um, and some others. I, honestly, I cannot think of any examples right now. They're called silent protagonists because during the games, they don't speak a single line of dialogue. It is mostly through reactions or emotes that they show the way that they feel about the events or the plot. Honestly, it's not my favorite plot device, but I kind of see where the developers were coming from to do that type of protagonist. I believe that the intention is to create some sort of blank template where the player can project themselves onto so that you can feel like you are Chrono. Well, I would agree that this is a great way of creating some sort of attachment. Um, at the same time, it actually detracts from the experience in my opinion and, and it was just in my case that it actually created the opposite effect because it created a disconnect i did not relate to the character in fact i i found more compelling the other characters such as frog or luca uh, we'll see some some part of the story where luca is very central which hurt me not hurt me like touch me in a real meaningful way even though there's a major event uh, involving Chrono, uh, which is supposed to, I guess, create a big, big impact, uh, it left me unmoved. That's what I would say. So maybe in some cases it will not cause the intended effect of having this silent protagonist. If you look at Chrono's uh, wiki entry uh, in, in the Chrono Trigger wiki, You'll see that there's basically no story for him. There's no background information. Um, all we know is that he has a mother. And, and as a matter of fact, I learned the mother's name from the article. It was, I don't think it's ever mentioned in the game. So he is just not compelling enough. He is very cool in his character design. And I'll give him this. He is very heroic. We'll see that in a few minutes. Masa. The ancient red rock has been, paced, uh, has been passed down through the ages. From it, a magic pendant and a knife were made. We embody Melchior's dreams, sealed within the knife. Now hurry, if you plan to confront the queen, we're counting on you. Hmm, cutscene. Oh, I can feel it! The pulse of eternal life! Ha ha! Ah, the dark force, wild energy. Ah. Uh, the, the the mammon machine, your Majesty, it's too dangerous. Mother, don't stop, Shala. We're almost there. Immortality will be ours. Zeal will have the glory it deserves. <laughs> Too long have I waited. Uh, yeah. I was thinking about the silent protagonists, and I remember a couple more. I guess you could argue that Mario is one. <laughs> you ever played Mario RPG, Super Mario RPG for the SNES? He is one. Great game, by the way. Uh, maybe we'll feature it in the channel. And then there's maybe Samus in the first uh, three games, Metroid, Metroid Returns, or Samus Returns, and uh, Metroid 3, Super Metroid. Um, and I would, I would say that Isaac from uh, Golden Sun, I love that saga, by the way. I wish I could feature it in the channel, but I think that the, that RPG 
format may not lend itself to the um, to the channel because uh, it, it would be too long. But he is one, and all he does is react with emojis. That that is the clearest example of the emoji thing. Funnily enough, if you ever played the second game in the saga, um, he speaks, and then your protagonist character Felix doesn't. So again it's just it's just a device from the writer or the developers to project the person seeing the story to see through the eyes of the character it may be useful it may be effective not in my case I, I, I guess I don't experience stories that way not in movies not in shows certainly not games you again you made it this far? Maybe I underestimated you. But this is the end. They will take care of you. Come, Golan Twins. Turns out this boss battle is pretty hard, and I got my ass handed back to me. So I had to switch Luca for Robo, and that should go much better. Let's see. I, I, I know I beat this um, a long time ago, I just don't know how I did it, because they are relentless. Boom, that guy's dead. That guy's dead. Fuck that. He's... Alright, she was able to act. So there'll be fire now. And I'm gonna try to revive Marley real quick. Come on! For fuck's sake! Okay, okay, maybe I'll be able to... ...to survive this. Man, fuck you! Did you just keep doing that? It's fine. I got... Three revives, which is nothing. Come on, Chrono. Come on, be fast. Jesus. Uh, full heal, full heal, I need a full heal. Oh my god. These guys are very, very hard. I'm not having an easy time here. They look weird, right? I mean, it, it's that the face on the bottom part or the top part? Huh. Yes, do that. Doesn't matter. Okay. If I if I keep doing this, then I think I can I can beat this. Oh my god, these guys are hard. That was a rough start, but I think I uh, I found my rhythm now, and I'm gonna be able to kill them. I don't know how long it's gonna take though. I'll tell you what the strategy is though. Uh, you you have to attack them elementally so that you you get them to copy your element which is why I use Luca to convert them to fire I don't even know how much damage this is doing that's like nothing yeah not a whole lot of damage um, but I was, what I was saying about the uh, magic the elemental magic so once you've converted them to continue hitting you with fire I had the provision of putting Fire resistant armor in most of them. I, I don't I don't think I had enough, but I put them on Luca, uh, the best one. And if you have been paying attention, you'll see that when she, whenever she's attacked with fire, it does like about 10 to 16, 15 hit points in damage. Uh, I'm not absorbing, but I'm reducing the the uh, damage by a great amount. Like right there, did you see? Oh fuck. This is what I meant to do. 
I am making some stupid mistakes in the selection. But anyway, uh, let's see how it goes. I mean, I, I have a good amount of health right now, so I'm not concerned. And the problem is that I, I cannot cause any additional damage because if I try to attack like physically, they'll change their type of attacks as well, again. And that's gonna throw me off my rhythm. I guess I'll have to stay in this stupid, slow-ass strategy of dealing damage with Luca. I, I don't know, when I uh, cast this spell, Fire 2, I don't know if the damage has been split into the two enemies. Um, which I've seen this happening in like Final Fantasy and I'm conflicted because in the one hand it makes all the sense in the world if, if you cast Cure on your entire party then it should be split into the three four members you have right but in the other hand I need them to be healed by a large amount and it's not happening I'm thinking it boils down to balance issues, I mean not issues but balance decisions you have to make as a developer when you're creating the game. Because if you do something differently then you run the risk of making it too easy or too hard for players. It's a thin line you have to walk on as a, as a designer. In that line of thought, I don't think Chrono Trigger suffers from any balance issues but I find the game that was much much easier in the beginning. Not so much now. I may have fucked up. Let's see. I really don't think I should have used that attack. It's water damage. I think I can fix it with Luca. Let's see. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. Good, good. Crisis averted. Okay, going back to the balance of non issue that I was talking about. I, I said that it was easier in the beginning and it's, it's getting a little harder right now and I guess that's a natural flow of things in every game that it is supposed to be like that but I, I, I kind of feel like there was a sharp sudden jump in difficulty especially for this boss I think more than any of the others prior to this I'm not sure it feels that way eh. Well, no, not entirely true because the previous one, the, that Gaia Guardian, Gaia something, the one that had uh, Melchior imprisoned in the Mountain of Woe, that was pretty hard too, I gotta say. Yeah, I think this is gonna work. I'll be able to kill them. The, the only thing there is it's gonna take a long time. I, I don't know how else to do it though. I guess I'll just have to keep doing the same thing. I don't want to risk it, you know? As it happened just now to try to attack with a different thing, like water, and then... Oof, I don't know. Okay, that one's dead. Jesus, I suffered this one. Oof. Damn. But now I can focus fire on this one. Um, I don't know, should I do the same thing? I'm, I'm just a little scared of like changing patterns and then screwing the whole thing up. What I don't have is ether. I'll have to keep using ethers uh, and, and mid ethers. And then after I'm done with this restock because I'm running low on them I think. The only thing there is I have to like strongly try to do that use the items because it goes against my every instinct of hoarding items for the end battle and I'll never use them in the end battle. You ever seen that happening to you? It's like I get an elixir, a pretty cool item, and I don't use it because I'm gonna save it for the final boss, but in the final boss battle I'll never use it. There you go. Poof. Man, I got it. Jesus, I, I I thought I wasn't going able to, as I wasn't going to be able to beat this. My goodness. There you go. They beat the Golden Twins. All right, all right. It's called for the Golden Bus. But what is this strange force? Could this be Labus's energy? 
Oh no. I've got a bad feeling about this. All my work will be in vain if I expire before I'm immortal. This is your lucky day. Bye bye. All right, after this grueling boss battle, uh, something is happening. Something that was serious enough for Talton to just get away, just flee. We'll be checking this out on the next episode, so thanks for joining me. See you tomorrow.